Yo, what's going on? In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a destructible platform which will crumble apart if you land on it. This video is a direct response to my buddy who requested this tutorial in another video. Like my other videos, this project file will be available to download from Telegram if you're thinking, yeah, f this guy, just give me the code. Okay, in a fresh project, let's start by enabling the plugins that we need, which are the chaos ones here. Once that's set up, grab a mesh that you're going to use as your platform and drag it into your world and make it the size you want. Then while you have it selected, go to fracture mode, hit new, and let's just throw it into the content folder. Click the uniform button. Let's set the Veroni, Verani, I don't know. Uh, let's do this for 300 and hit fracture. Now you can see all the pieces when you increase the slider. Okay, so now when you hit play, it's going to fall and shatter. Useless! We need to make this platform stay in place, almost like if it was anchored. Right click, create new blueprint class, all classes, search anchor, select anchor, name it anchor. Let's drag it, scale it to cover half the platform. Let's turn on debug and let's rotate it. Double click into your anchor, change from kinematic to static. Now click your platform, then search initial, click the plus, then the eye drop and select your anchor. Press play, boom, holds a position. I know, I know, I'm awesome. Just kidding, we're awesome, you're doing this too. Next, create a new blueprint class. Search field, select master field, name it damage. Drag damage in, press play. It kabloom after one second, we don't want that. So double click into damage, put debug to true, activation type to on tick and use tick. Now when it activates, it starts active and stays active continuously. Also, let's change this to box instead of sphere and I'll explain why later. Press play to confirm that it all works. Yes, it does. All right, now we just need to create the logic that makes this happen when the character lands on the platform. Let's delete the damage in the world right now. Open the character blueprint and then open their mesh. Go to character, show hierarchy. We want to use this root bones location for a socket to spawn the damage field. So right click root, add socket and name it damage. Okay, so we want to check anytime our character is falling. And one way to do that is with event tick, but let's avoid running any more ticks than we need to. Open up our character's anim blueprint. Click the settings icon and show inherited variables. And put is falling from character. If true, set actor tick enabled to true and plug character in. The anim graph is always running an event tick, so you might as well use it. By default, UE5 has the default character referenced and set up. If you don't have this, get player character, cast to your character, and set tick enabled to true and plug your character into it. Okay, go back to your character blueprint and get event tick. Oh, but Dilo, you said we're not using any more event ticks. Yes, I know. We are going to deactivate it and only run it when we're falling. God! Out of it, get a branch and type is falling and connect it in. Out of true, put do once, then spawn actor by class. Select the damage class. This is your damage field. For the transform, let's right click it and split it. Then get mesh, get socket transform from that mesh, type in lowercase damage, split this transform and plug in the location, rotation and out of the scale, let's multiply the vector by 1 for x and y and 0.25 for the z. Almost done. Attach the actor to the component, put mesh as the parent, damage as the socket and the return as the target. For the location and rotation rule, put snap to target and scale rule keep world. Okay, last thing. We don't want tick running all of the time. So out of false, set actor tick enabled to false. Get is valid node, put a delay for, I don't know, half a second, then destroy actor. Remember that it's out of the spawn actor return, that's what you're dragging to the is valid and destroy actor. Very last thing to do is connect the destroy actor to the reset pin for the do once so the logic can run over and over again once at a time. So now whenever you fall and land onto this platform, you'll break it apart. 
Okay, so how is it happening? We told our anim graph, which runs for every frame to check if we're falling. If we are, we're telling the character blueprint to run its event tick. The character's event tick is then also checking if the character's falling. If they're not, it's just gonna shut off, and while it's shutting off, it's checking if the damage field exists in the world and destroys it if it does. If not, it just turns off. However, if the player is falling, then it's gonna spawn the destruction field once, and based on our specifications, we already went over what happens if you stop falling. Some notes to keep in mind, you will want to change the Z of the scale transform based on how thick your platform is going to be. If Z is too large, your character will be breaking platforms much further below them before they've even touched it. Too small and the platform isn't going to break all the way. Now you can have this damage field always under your character's feet, but keep in mind, because it's a square, you may be destroying platforms that are in front of the player and the same height as the ground they're walking on. Anyway, I hope you were able to find this useful. If you did, hit the goddamn subscribe button so I can keep making videos that help you. <laughs> anyway, I I'll see you in the next video. Bye.